What's going on, guys? Chase Ghost Picks against the spread. Ghostpicksats.com coming to you for Thursday, June the 28th, 2018. Hope everybody's had a great day thus far. Great day yesterday. Uh, still on the road. Uh, headed back home as we speak, but wanted to get a uh, nice little video out to you and uh, go over what we did yesterday and uh, just get geared up for a big day. So yesterday, free play was on the Seattle Mariners on the money line, and I did say in the video that was a premium play. That was a winner. Uh, we did drop the Braves on the money line and the Brewers on the run line. Two games that should have been very one-sided, in my opinion, especially the Braves, and uh, started out bad for both of them. Both of them picked up some steam, came back full force ahead, got right back in the game, and uh, time just didn't allow. Um, so both of those uh, games, not only did they not cover, they ended up losing outright. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, we also had Pittsburgh on the money line, which was a winner, and we had Boston on the money line, which was a winner. And then the WNBA, we had Indiana plus the points, which was a winner. We had it at plus 12 and a half when we released it. Some of my guys saw it at plus 11 and a half, and I told them to buy it up to 12 uh, for the ones that did specifically ask me. Uh, so they pushed, but um, the overall across the board I was seeing was plus 12 and a half, and that was the play that was released. So overall, four and two day. Not a terrible day. Just really disappointed in the Braves and the Brewers. But hey, we'll take it. We'll move on from it, but another winning day nonetheless. So. Don't forget, this is the last day of the $99 week with no top tier or $199 with top tier seven days. This is the last day that I will be doing that because I'm sure we'll come up with something for the weekend. Um, so this that promotion ends at midnight tonight. So make sure you jump on that. Jump on for the season, the month. Uh, combined cappers, myself and Jimmy, uh, myself and Jack, uh, myself and Derek. Combined, you know, Jimmy and Jack, Jimmy and Derek, you know, Jack and Derek, doesn't matter. Just jump on, start winning with ghost picks. Jimmy had a nice big top tier winner yesterday. Uh, I believe Derek also had an undefeated day, a 2-0 day. I'm not sure about Jack yet. I have not seen his plays. I'll review him and see what he did. And uh, I'm, pro I'm pretty sure him and I will speak in the next couple of days. He's out on some family leave right now. So um, anyway, let's get you on. Let's make it short and sweet because it is getting late. Let's jump on a, um, a premium play for uh, Thursday afternoon. The Dodgers and the Cubs. You guys know who I pull for, but today, as a fan, I'm pulling for him. But with this, I'm going against him. And Jose Quintana for the Cubs is somebody that I actually trust. I actually have more trust in him than probably 90% of people. He's a very good pitcher. He's a road warrior. He understands the game. He doesn't let stuff frustrate him. Yeah, he's had some bad outings. But he's also, especially at the very, uh, you know, very beginning of the season, all the way up until you know that first third of the season was over, he, he did very well, and um, I'm still impressed by him. I'm still happy to have him in Chicago, but you're going up against Clayton Kershaw, who I've been telling you all year, I was on the side that was the biggest upset so far this year and in many recent years, and I faded him that game, and it was, a free, it was in my free video. I've been fading Clayton all year long, but I think today with the bullpen changes and adjustments that the Cubs are making to try to get geared up for post-All-Star break and um, – so they can continue success in uh, the latter part of the season to uh, make their playoff run, which is, you know, they know they're going to have to, it's a little give and take there. So I think that the Cubs, you know, obviously they're floundering a little bit. They've taken one from the Dodgers in this series because of a Javi Baez grand slam. But I just think that this is where Clayton Kershaw finds his stride. I don't, I don't think that he's necessarily going to go pitch lights out or a complete game or anything like that, but he does have the upper hand with Quintana if he pitches well. He's been, you know, he come off of the DL. He's been battling a little bit of injury. He's uh, certainly not pitched as much as you would typically see Clayton, but he's 6-1 and one the last seven times he's played the Cubs. And I believe how many games out of the last 15, 13 out of the last 15 at Dodger Stadium? Uh, the... The Dodgers have beat the Cubs. Obviously, last year they had their number as well. But 6-1, and one, the Dodgers have won against the Cubs. Clayton's last seven times he's pitched against the Cubs. Those are good numbers. He's still one of the best pitchers in baseball. Still an all-star. And today, I'll take him. The I, I would love to take him on the money line, but I'm seeing it right around 170, 175. And I don't typically like laying that. If you have the, you know, if you have the ability, if your bankroll's grown enough, and you're and you're okay with laying the money line, I don't think it's terrible. But I, I'm going to play the run line on this one. 
Dodgers minus one and a half against my Chicago Cubs. That is your free premium play for Thursday. Everybody, have a great day and good luck.